Hi, welcome to the first After Climb of 2022. Thanks for joining me. My name is Brian Deckard. I'm the vice president here at RMS. To kick things off this year, we're going to look at RMS integrations and our point of sale solution. Now, you're probably wondering what are RMS integrations? RMS integrations provide a connection between your RMS point of sale system and other applications or services in order to communicate relevant data and streamline processes in your pharmacy. This includes connections to your pharmacy management system, which helps you sell prescriptions and report those sales back to your pharmacy system. EDI integrations with all the major wholesalers to help you manage your inventory and ensure your shelves are fully stocked. Nutrient depletion, which assists your staff in making supplement recommendations to patients as part of medication therapy management. E-commerce integrations to connect your inventory to your website and allow your customers to submit online orders. Will call management, which is an extension of the prescription filling workflow, which allows you to package multiple prescriptions together and use a single barcode in your point of sale system to simplify the process of selling multiple prescriptions to the same patient. And Inplex integration with MethCheck, which helps manage and report pseudoephedrine sales to ensure CMEA compliance. Why do these integrations matter? Why not just one single system? Not all solutions are created equal. What works for one store may not necessarily work for another. Integrations give you the flexibility to choose the best solution for your store without requiring you to make large changes across your entire business. This flexibility allows our solution to grow with your store. When you're ready to add services like nutrient depletion recommendations for your patients, or if you realize that you need will call management, you can tailor the system to the evolving needs and goals of your business. These integrations provide a robust feature set, which allow you to have the best of multiple worlds. For example, a strong relationship with your pharmacy system provider to help manage your pharmacy backend, as well as a point of sale provider who can help you grow your front end and expand. Our expertise here at RMS is pharmacy point of sale. This goes way beyond simply selling products to your customers. It's about building a relationship with your customer and providing them a world-class experience. Today, we're gonna to focus on the integration of the pharmacy management system. As your pharmacy staff fills prescriptions for patients, there has to be a way for these prescriptions to be added to transactions in the point of sale system. This is where the pharmacy system interface comes into play. Depending on your pharmacy system, this interface operates in one of two ways. Either the pharmacy system provides a continuous data feed to the point of sale system as prescriptions are filled using a push interface, or the point of sale system queries the pharmacy management system at the time of sale when the prescriptions are scanned at the register. Through the pharmacy system interface, what would otherwise be considered a basic point of sale system now becomes a valuable tool in a pharmacy's business. Having the ability to scan a printed barcode on the prescription receipt helps eliminate errors with user entry by allowing the point of sale system to bring information about that prescription into the transaction automatically. In addition to basic things like copay amount due, you can leverage additional information about prescriptions to enforce business rules, such as requiring a patient verification or preventing the sale of an expired prescription based off of the prescription's filled date. You can automatically prompt clerks to obtain ID information from the patient for narcotic sales, or even recommend nutrient supplements, nutritional supplements to the patients based on their medications. At the end of the transaction, the system can leverage the communication with the pharmacy management system to ensure all of the patient's prescriptions that are available to pick up are in fact in the transaction and avoid situations where a prescription might get missed because it was in the refrigerator away from the will call shelf. You can log patient counseling details as well as capture all electronic signatures you're required to have on file for the patient. Let's take a look at a couple of these features in action. We'll start off by scanning a prescription for a patient named Stephanie. The first thing you'll notice after scanning the prescription is we're being asked to confirm Stephanie's date of birth as part of the patient verification process. Depending on your level of concern for patient verification, we have multiple options here. This store requires clerks to type the full date of birth for the patient before continuing. This could be set up to only require the month and day, or you could choose to not display the date of birth at all and instead encourage the clerk to have a ver verbal confirmation from the patient on their birthday. 
Alternatively, we could skip verification for the first patient in the transaction entirely and instead only prompt the clerk if a prescription for a different patient is scanned later on in the transaction. Let's confirm Stephanie's date of birth and finalize this transaction using cash. It appears we forgot to scan Stephanie's second prescription before attempting to finalize the transaction. From time to time, this could easily happen in a real world interaction with a patient for several reasons, ranging from accidentally forgetting to scan one of several prescriptions being picked up to the clerk not realizing one of the prescriptions happened to be in the refrigerator while the other three were in welcome, or simply being distracted by a friendly conversation with the patient. Regardless of the reason, in this case, because the point of sale system knows Stephanie has two prescriptions available for pickup, but we've only added one to the transaction, we're being reminded of Stephanie's second prescription. Let's go back to the transaction and add this prescription. Stephanie's second pres prescription is a narcotic. This store requires clerks to obtain driver's license information from the patient for these types of prescriptions. Now we could ask Stephanie's to provide her driver's license and we can manually type the ID number, name and address. But an easier solution would be to use the barcode on the back of Stephanie's driver's license and scan all of that information in automatically. Let's do that. Perfect. All of Stephanie's license information was entered into the system without risking any typos. Let's wrap up this transaction by selecting cash. Next, the system's gonna have us confirm that Stephanie is in fact the customer picking up the prescription, which will lead us to our HIPAA privacy notification. Stephanie is a new patient to this store and has not received the store's privacy notification. Since this signature is not allowed to be combined with the payment or prescription pickup signatures, Stephanie will need to sign twice. Once here to acknowledge that she's received the privacy notification from the store. And then again here to acknowledge pickup of the prescription. And just like that, we're finished with the transaction and Stephanie can be on her way. Now selling the prescription is just one piece of the integration puzzle. Once the patient has left and the transaction is complete, your pharmacy management system needs to be informed of the sale. Our system supports sending nearly every detail of the transaction back to the pharmacy system. And depending on which system provider you use, the information we send can range from basic information such as transaction date, and time, the till number, clerk ID, and transaction amount, all the way up to more complex information such as copies of electronic signatures, patient identification details for narcotics, and any notes your pharmacy staff may have made during the patient counseling process. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to integrations with RMS. If you're interested, here's two links to record a demo showcasing nutrient depletion recommendations based off a patient's prescription medication, as well as RMS will call management, which allows you to package multiple prescriptions under a single barcode for use at the register. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us either by phone or email, and we'll be happy to set up some time to work with you. Thanks for joining me this morning, and I hope to see you again in the future.